hi guys welcome back to my channel so as you guys can tell in the title obviously i'll be playing with the new urban decay stoned vibes palette and i'm so excited you guys you guys have no idea like anxiety has been kicking my ass so bad like i've been crying these past days like non-stop but today i actually feel a little bit better mentally not physically i still feel physically like eh, you know today i really wanted to play with this palette i got it yesterday but i wasn't able to do it yesterday because i wasn't feeling good but today i feel a little bit better so we're going to play with it today so shout out to urban decay for sending me this over and they also sent me over their urban decay um this is their eyeshadow primer potion but i already have one that's already open so that's the one that i'm going to be using today so you guys i already took some swatches of this i'm going to be posting the video here for you guys so you guys can see it i put it in the sunlight so you guys can see how beautiful these shimmers are you guys they're like so stunning the sun just does beautiful things to it it's amazing so we're going to go ahead and open this up and we have this going on it's just so stunning of how beautiful these shimmers look you guys um it is beautiful and as you guys can tell when the video went up for the swatches it is just mind-blowing of course they have only four matte shadows which i think is actually perfect for this palette because it's all about shimmers and stony looking stuff as you can tell they're not like just simple colors there's like a different types of like shimmers in there different colors it's just beautiful this eyeshadow palette is going to be retailing for 54 dollars and it has 12 on new crystal infused shades to the block bad vibes and elevate your look it is already available to purchase it came out on august 30th at urbandecay.com and ulta online and in stores just in case you guys sh like shopping at ulta it's going to be there and it's going to launch september 20th at sephora nordstrom macy's and online and in store and in qvc.com so you guys this is just so stunning and just in case you guys are wondering you guys can go ahead and buy the eyeshadow primer potion for 24 dollars so just wanted to show you guys that stuff there so i'm going to go ahead and just move on to the eyes because that is why you guys are here so let's go ahead and start i'm going to go in and prime my eyes with the primer potion and we're going to be using this as a base and i like this just because the way it's like super super easy to apply you can just put that all over the lid so i really like to just pat the primer into the eyelid and just pat it all over okay so as always i don't know what i'm gonna do for my eye i just kind of go with the flow but i really like the um anecdote and the shade hex which is this one here so i'm gonna go in with anecdote a little bit and i'm gonna be using that and just adding that to the crease and just kind of blending that over and i am using the brush that came into the palette and we're just going to just create a look and see what i come up with so far that shade looks really really pigmented which i like we're just gonna go ahead and blend that all over so far i'm really liking the way this is coming out it's super super pigmented i recommend just kind of tapping it over a little bit and then swiping it because that's where you're going to get the most payoff of the shadow. But there is not that much fallout which I like. So we're going to just go ahead and keep blending that in. I do want to say that maybe for darker complexions, this some of these shadows won't show up. Unless you use like a really light concealer or like a light primer. Um, because I don't know how it would be. Like I don't know if it would kind of show up ashy. On some skin tones so i just wanted to let you guys know that just to keep that in mind just in case you guys were eyeing it but i'm pretty sure anybody with a darker complexion will kind of know that so i just want to tell you guys just in case you guys were wondering i would recommend using like a lighter primer concealer whatever you guys use to prime your eyeshadow now with the same brush i am gonna go in with hex this one right here and it's like a brown but it's like a cool tone brown i don't know what color it is and i'm using the other side of the brush because this side's dirty and i'm gonna go in with that and we're just gonna tap it a little bit do you guys see it just got some there so i'm going to be using this on the outer corner and just kind of deepen that out i'm also going to be using that shade to deepen um my inner corner because you guys know i like to do that so we're gonna go ahead and just do that 
I don't even know what shimmers I want to use to be honest like they are all so pretty so it's hard to tell which one I want to use but I think I'm just gonna go in with something that's gonna go with the flow with this because so far I really like the way this is looking with the same shade hex I am gonna be using that to go to my lower lash line and just kind of putting those two together and we're just gonna connect the outer corner and the lower lash line so far I do want to say that I'm not getting any fallout to my makeup it just everything seems to be good which I really really like so now that that is done I'm going to be choosing some of these shades because oh my god you guys it is so hard because I like all of them I feel like they're all so pretty but I really 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 do like this opal aura one this one seems really nice so I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of that do you guys see that how amazing that looks and I'm gonna be adding it to my lid and just tapping and using my finger because I feel like that's just gonna be better I am gonna be using the flat brush on the other eye just so you guys can see it so I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that in so I like to bring it in all the way here to the brow bone and just kind of blending it in with my finger and then going in with the brush and just kind of blending out the edge a bit with of course a little bit of shadow and just blending it out just so it doesn't look too too harsh. But I just really like so far blending all that shimmer up to the brow bone. It just I feel like it makes it look like a very like nice wet look i kind of got the idea from the kim kardashian wet look from the met gala that mario did on her so that's how i kind of started doing that and that's why i really like it but so i feel like i do need a little bit more pizzazz so i'm gonna go in with another color here i'm gonna go in with jade which is this green one right here this one's so pretty so i'm gonna go in with that and i'm going to be adding this a little bit to the outer corner and just popping it in there because I wanted to do like the purple, but I was like, no, you know what? Let's do a little bit of that green. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of this into the outer corner. Just want to use a lot of these, and I'm going to try my best to do that. So I'm going to be popping that in here. Go ahead and use a little flat brush that comes in the palette. And I'm going to go in and do get the shade. Um, we'll get Ojo, which is this blue one here. And I'm going to be grabbing a little bit of that, some here like this. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of that to the bottom of my eye here. And just pressing it in because it will for sure fall out, you guys, especially because it is a flat brush. Normally when you do that, it doesn't catch the warmth of your fingers, so it's not going to just melt that easily so we're just going to slowly add a little bit of that to the inner corner but I just honestly you guys I just recommend using your fingers to apply these because your finger is going to be your best friend so we're gonna go ahead and just keep adding this in here since I really like the way the blue looks in the inner corner I'm gonna go ahead and grab Oko again and I'm going to be adding a little bit of that you guys the blue is intense and I'm going to be adding that to the outer corner and blending it in with the green because I just want to deepen that outer corner just a little bit more. Look at the difference, you guys. Look how pretty that is looking. And I like it because you still have more of the product in your finger. And you can just kind of go ahead and blend that in to the other eye. So, so far, this is how the eye look is looking. I did add a little bit of the Opal Aura. Um, into my inner corner because it's just gonna make it pop even more So I like blending that in just a tad bit there And I also added this a little bit to my brow bone as you guys can see And it's just gonna make my brow bone pop a little bit more So now that that's done I'm gonna go in a little bit with my get stone stones Because I just feel like these are going to make the look It's gonna complete the look But the thing is it's gonna be so hard to pick which one I want but I think I'm going to go in with these right here. So I'm going to be popping these on my eyes and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I'm back and I put some lashes on, I put the stones and I put some lips. And you guys, I just love this palette. You guys could do so much. You could even use like one of the shadows and then just a shimmer on top and just put some mascara and that should be good you can literally do a lot with this palette you can do your makeup with other palettes and then just grab this palette you can get any of these shimmers you guys what i'm telling you guys when it's in the sun it is so beautiful so let me know what you guys think of this look 
So let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this look. What do you guys think of the palette? What was your guys' first thoughts when you guys saw the palette? I know Urban Decay has this thing where like people get upset about them having not that many mats, which I'm pretty sure I'm one of those people because I like mats. But you know, this palette I feel like it is perfect. Like, why would you want to have mats when it's all about stones? You know, so I actually really, really like this palette, you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to grab it. Let me know in the comments below of this look. What do you guys think? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It meant the world to me if you guys finished to the end. I know I'm not a big creator on YouTube or anything like that. But I do my best and I enjoy doing these. And whenever I have the time to do it, I love it. Thank you guys so much. If you guys are not part of my little family and want to be part of it, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to know when I post another video. And if you guys are not following me on my Instagram and Twitter and TikTok, go ahead and follow me there. I'm always posting there. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart again. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.